Hey everyone, welcome to an L.A. Noir walkthrough. I'm taking you through the White Shoe Slang. I'm going to show you how to get 100% or a 5 star rating here on this mission so you can eventually get the achievement or trophy depending on whatever it is that you're playing on. Now there are no cutscenes. I've cut them all out. This is strictly commentary showing you exactly what questions to ask the people, what clues to find uh, so that you can get uh, through this mission if you're having trouble. So be sure that you check out all the limbs of the body, or at least just the arms. And then you're going to also move the head around. And when you move it, you'll notice that it brought down her collar and you were able to get a label. So you'll want to remember that number. That number is going to come in handy later on. Once you're done with the body, go ahead and look right beside there. You're going to find some footprints. So you want to investigate that to get the clue. And behind the footprints are some tire marks. And once you're done with that, go ahead and run towards the phone to make a phone call to the police station. Uh, as you're running, a cutscene will happen. You'll talk to this lady. You'll ask her a question. She's going to tell you the truth. Once you're done with her, go ahead and go back to making that phone call that you originally were going to make. It's going to take you to the laundry map. The guy's going to show you his book. Uh, find the number that was on the woman's label. 51363. You're going to go to that address. Uh, this is her family's home, so you're going to walk in. You're going to have time to uh, check out the home. Be sure to pick up the matchbook that's sitting on the table with the chessboard. And once you're done with that, go ahead and move into the bedroom almost directly behind you. You're going to walk in. Over on the dresser is a picture that you'll need to pick up. And that does it for this room. So now you can walk into the kitchen. And in the back of the kitchen there's going to be a utility room. You're already going to see your partner's back here. You can uh, pick up the purse that he was apparently looking at. And in the purse, you're going to find two clues that you'll need to pull out. And once you're done with that, over to, next to the door, you're going to find a pair of boots. And you'll want to pick those up and take a look at the bottom of the soles. And then once you're done with the boots, there's one more object in here. You'll want to take a look at the wet jacket that your partner was taking a look at. And as I've said before in other videos, if you know, you're trying to go through here, you're trying to do these missions without help, like this type of video, and you're wanting tips to uh, better yourself in the game to find clues on your own, uh, pay attention to where your partner is. A lot of times he'll lead you to the right positions to where you need to look, or at least in the right area. So walk outside and take a look at the front of the boat. You're going to see a rope there. Walk back inside and make a phone call. After you make the phone call, you're going to sit down and you're going to be able to question the husband. And these are the responses you should have to him. So once you're done there, you're going to head on over to the bar where you found uh, the matchbook, the address on the matchbook. Uh, the bartender's going to give you a few clues. And then after he does that, you're going to be able to ask him a few questions. Once again, pause the video if you need to conduct the interview. And then once you leave there, you're going to get involved in a chase. So uh, just grab that person down. Your partner will help you shoot out the window. Uh, question the person that you just flipped or wrecked or whatever and then once you're done there you're gonna to want to hop in your car and you have to drive a lot of times I'll always let my partner drive uh, but on this one you actually have to drive eventually you're gonna get a phone call telling you where the taxi cab is that you need to track down you can pull up your map put a marker on it and then you can turn on your sirens and go find the taxi once you find it 
they'll stop for you easily, uh, walk up to it, and it'll uh, conduct a cutscene. Then make a phone call where you're going to be directed to come back to the police station. You're going to be able to interview uh, this uh, Navy guy right here. Be sure that you did walk up to the counter to uh, get the directions. Not sure if that counts or not, but it was a little cutscene, so I made sure I did it. Then you're going to head on over to the bus stop. The lady's going to give you a map at the counter. Once again, you have to get in your car and drive. You're going to see that on your little mini map there, you're going to have a red marker indicating where the bus route is. You just have to continue to follow the bus route until you find the bus, and you might be driving for a long time. I know I was. Uh, once again, once you find the bus, though, just turn on your sirens. The bus will pull over, walk out, and talk to the bus driver. Then you're going to go to the hobo location. You're going to get into a fight. Once you're done with the fight, walk inside the building you were looking at after the cutscene. Here you're going to find newspaper number six. Once you're done with the paper, go ahead and move to the little small table that's right beside the entryway. There's going to be a couple of objects on this table. First you're going to have that image right there. Then there's going to be this small purse, and you will have to turn the purse in order to see the initials that's on the side there. Once you see the initials, you can interact with it. You press A and open it up. And inside is a ticket. You'll want to maneuver that around until he zooms in and you initiate a cutscene. And then once you're done with that, you'll want to move over to the small table that's right beside the bed. And then you're going to be taken back to the police station. You're going to go back and you're going to interrogate this guy. This is going to be what he's going to tell you. And that'll give you five stars for this case. Please, guys, like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out. Uh, that's the best way you can thank me right there is just by commenting and liking every single video that I post up, uh, every video that helps you out. I really appreciate it. Check out Battlestrats.com for more tips, tricks, hints on L.A. Noir.